done. This part looks too bulky for me and the sideline also looks wrong. But let's check it. Please measure the back height. Sixty-four. It's wrong measurement. You have here size 43. For size 43, this back height must be exactly 60 millimeters. But I wanted to make higher like in sneakers right here. You can do it, although we are making Oxford, but you can change a little bit the design of the back part. But the side line, this line, must lay exactly on the needed measurements, 60 millimeters. Because if it will be higher, like you did, you see it's, maybe you can see, but I see, here we have a bone, and this edge of the sideline will bother this bone, it will be not comfortable. So that's why you must stay on the exact measurement, 60 millimeters. Every footwear type has its own roots in design and construction. If you want to make comfortable shoes, not just ones that look good in pictures, you can skip this important shoe making and pattern making approach. One of the key lines in Oxford shoe design, and not only in Oxfords, is drawing the sideline in the right place. And the thing is, it all depends on getting the back height and the joint line measurements right. The sideline will be drawn along these two points. If the back height is too high, the sideline, which becomes the actual side top line of the upper, will press on the ankle bone and cause discomfort. If it's too low, the shoe might not hold the foot properly and can slip off while walking. To learn how to design and create correct patterns for your shoes, join shoemaking courses online.